Hello everyone and welcome back to John Bill's Iconic Military Models. Okay, so in today's video I've been working on this funnel wrap enhancement kit and that's supplied to me from Woody's Model Works. It's absolutely an excellent kit and obviously I'll put some links in the description for where you can get this and I'll also talk about this as we kind of go through the build. Okay, so the kit's made up of two parts. We get these nice photo H funnel wraps and then we get a nice rigging bracket set as well but I haven't actually got that yet and I won't actually be fitting mine until a little bit later on so just mainly for today's video I'm just concentrating on how we fit these these funnel wraps onto the funnels that kind of come supplied with a trumpet kit okay so the kit comes with a nice three page pdf that you can kind of download and follow and like I say I'll be, I'll be following that roughly but obviously just using my own techniques you know so this this guide is just pretty much everything you need as well Okay, so when you get the, the funnel from there and the trunk to kit, we've got kind of three main things that we need to kind of do. And first of all is we just need to remove all this riveting detail that's kind of on the funnel. What we need to make sure is we leave on is we leave on this top ridge, this centre ridge and that little part at the front as well, because they actually kind of line up in this part and this funnel wrap. So I kind of want to leave that on and that's going to make a really good indication mark when we start fitting the two parts together. Okay, so start removing these little rivets off this funnel. Is just taking your craft knife. There's one thing you can do is kind of pull it right up against that rib and then just kind of start to drag it down the hull and then just keep moving it around. And all that's going to do is just, just scrape it and just keep moving it along in around about five five millimeter sections and just drag it all the way from the top all the way down and then just keep turning it and that's going to work absolutely fine but like i say i've got this little rotary drill that's fitting with a little drum sander so what i'll be doing with this is using it on the slowest speed which is obviously the slowest RPM, and I've just been moving it around, removing the rivets that way. And also what it's going to do as well, it'll key the, the plastic, so it'll also make the, uh, the photo parts stick and glue a lot nicer. The only, like I say, the only part you have to be really careful with is just when you get around this area, is you make sure you kind of leave that section in and then just keep working around. Okay, so after five minutes of grinding away, you should be kind of left a nice smooth funnel but obviously it just left them sections still on and it's all nice and key as well so that should fit the uh, the four edge part really nice so put that one side and now i can bring across these photo edge funnel wraps so what i'm going to do first is take my craft knife again and i'm actually going to scope cut these out just on the the furthest edge you get quite a good little bracket on this but what I say what we'll do is just take it off and leave in the most material on at the minute. Just so I can kind of get it off the sprue. Like I say these are really, really thin. These are small, small and paper thin. So you just have to be really careful with these. Okay, so once you remove one, you should look like that. Let's move that away again for a second. What we do now is just clean up the cuts a little bit nicer, getting right up against the, the part. Like I say, it's a lot easier to kind of clean these once you take it off the sprue than it is. I suppose when you're kind of cutting these edges, it's a cut away from you so then you you got you won't kind of bend that as i was cutting that way i've got a tendency just to snag that so yeah so if you got it right close to an edge just kind of cut it away from you and 
and the same again like because that one's right on the edge i'm actually going to cut it away from me i kind of cut it towards me then i got a good chance of that corner being i cut that towards me got a good chance of that corner being bent Like I say, if you cut it as flush up to the edge as you possibly can, there should be no need for any kind of clean up because this is so fine, it wouldn't really appreciate. I say I'm never gonna do that again, wouldn't appreciate any sandy paper at all. This Okay, so the bottom edge is not that important because once it's actually glued, we can actually hit that with a bit of sandpaper. But the most important part is this top edge and these edges down the side. So just really make sure that you've kind of took all the material off. That's going to sit nicely around this raised part of the funnel. Okay, so once you've kind of cut it out and you're kind of happy, it looks okay. What we're going to do now is just going to give it a little test fit actually on the funnel. So let's like say it's designed where you have to be very careful about it. You don't put any kinks in this section. Really designed where this little slot is going to kind of go in that slot in the funnel. I'm just going to lay that over that and that absolutely fits. Absolutely perfect. Really happy with that. And all I'm going to do is just start to bend it around and just test fit this. Kind of making sure that that gap will close up. And what I say was when we actually fit this finally, we'll just make sure we pinch that nice and tight, but that's fitting really good already so i'm quite happy that this is there that's going to fit really nice so what i'm going to do you just take a really 600 gray sandpaper and all i'm going to do is just key up the back not too much because it's like paper thin all i'm going to do is just key the back of this funnel wrap Okay, so because people always ask me, this is a super glue I'm going to use. This is this uh, Flexi 5K CA fin. And all I'm going to do is I build a lot of part work kits, and you tend to get a lot of these little plastic trays part work bills. So I always save them because they're ideal to kind of make little glue wells. And all I'm going to do is pour a little bit into this. Just lay some into that. Little well, so I'm just going to use this little uh, glue one that I've made myself. All well, this little towel, a little bit of plastic in the end, that's going to make a nice spreading wand. Okay, so all I'm going to do first is just I'm going to glue a little section just down the middle there, just on that little bit there. So I'm just going to use this little wand in the glue, and it only gives you a nice even coat. And I'm just going to get it on this section and rub it all the way down. One of the nice super glue brush applicators would be quite handy for this. I did actually try and pick one up earlier, but there wasn't any in my local retail shop. Yeah, but the kind of the super glues and the brushes would be quite good for this. And then just fill a little bit in that section there. And like I say, just make sure you kind of spread it out. Okay, so this way you have to be careful now because this is your first kind of part that you're kind of sticking together. So same again, you've got to really make sure you accurate this section. So we want to make sure that we just line up
and then just press it down over that middle section. Make sure everything's all nicely glued down. So then what I'm going to do then, just going to start to kind of add some more glue to the edge and then start to work it around. So I'm just going to paint some more glue just down this one side. And then just start to smooth that out as well. So that's got some little pegs, so all I'm going to do is peg the bottom edge and then add some more glue. So like I say, as you start to wrap this around, you've got to make sure mindful that you're kind of really touching this top edge. So if you don't, then that's when it won't kind of line up. Then you can just spin it a little bit more. And I say, before you glue anymore, just kind of make sure that it's still looking like it's going to line up nice and tight, which it is. Just keep adjusting it, making sure it looks okay. And I say, it's a little bit of fiddly work, but like I say, you want to kind of make sure you get this right kind of first time. Let's get some more glue. Paste it down. Like I say, you wrap, making sure you get it nice and flush against this top edge. That's one of the most important. Now when we get to this half section there, we should be lined up directly down the middle of these little square sections. We should be bang on right down the middle. We should be on just a tiny little bit more glue on this front edge. Let's put that clamp right on that front edge and just leave that kind of go off a few seconds. Okay, so you've seen me use this in the uh, the first step by step guide. It's just a little fiberglass pencil. Well, I'm going to be really careful. Just run it around all the little raised details and just making sure it's all nicely pressed in. And all we need to do is get a little bit more glue and we can bring these two parts together. And hopefully if you made just enough care and attention, you should marry up really much perfect and as you can see they do so gotta be happy with that all i'm doing now is taking a little bit of clean alcohol just a little bit, a little bit of tissue, tissue cloth i'm just going to rub it down this this end there just take off any excess glue that there might be And just keep pressing them down, making sure they are really nice and flush.
Okay, so once you're happy with that, along this seam, you get your fiberglass pencil again, and you can just run it all the way down this seam, and it will just help just to push these two parts together and really seal them down nice and tight. Just like that. Same again. Let's clean it a bit more. Cleaning alcohol. Okay, so that's the, uh, the bottom half of the first floor wrap fitted. Okay, so after fitting this first bottom section of this tunnel wrap, I realised I was actually fitting the uh, the wrong size, and I actually just thought that once one size fit all. So obviously, I just sort of looked at the PDF and didn't say anything. Just said obviously fit the uh, corresponding uh, tunnel wrap. So what I've actually noticed is what you really need to pay attention to. Okay, so in the first half of the video, I didn't actually realise I was making a mistake because I was actually fitting an X1. So we get two X1s, we get a C1 and a C2. I was actually fitting an X1 to a C2 funnel. So I didn't actually, I'd say this is quite new to me, just inside these little funnels, there's these little brackets, that one says C2. So I'll bring this one across and I'll show you just inside this. If you look, just inside that funnel, it actually says X1. So we get two X1s, and obviously we get a C1 and a C2. So what you have to make sure is actually these correspondent funnel wraps actually fit to the uh, to the correct funnels. Because like I said, I didn't actually realise, I just, like I say, I'd not actually spoke to Neil about the uh, design of this, so I actually just thought that was hanging over was obviously was normal but obviously it turns out it's not so i fitted it exactly the same as i just did in the first section of the video i just realized i was fitting the wrong one and in the x ones there's just two tiny little holes at the bottom that go over two little brackets as i say so i'm going to carry on in the next part of the video now in the next part of the video you're, you're going to actually see me fitting this top part of this tunnel Okay, so we don't have this indication marker on the top half of the funnel wrap, but we do have this this hole there. So that kind of gives you an idea exactly where you start with this. So we've got to kind of make sure that that square fits that square that's left in on the funnel. And pretty much how you can fit this as well is we want to make sure that as we wrap this around, as this section of rivet lines is pretty running exactly vertical. With a set of rivet lines above that so that's pretty much how we're going to fit this so like it before what i'm going to do is we're going to read the glue along that middle section and then we can fit that first part in i'm just taking this little plastic glue wand i'm just going to glue just a little bit either side of that square section uh, same again, you've got to be careful with this when you first bring this across and you, you kind of want to hit it first time. So the best thing to do is kind of bring that flush with the bottom one and make sure the rivets are lining up. And once you're happy you can just press and hold that. Okay, so if you're new to the hobby and you're doing this for the first time, I'd recommend using like a 60 second super glue. This is a Loctite 60 second glue. And it gives you a little bit more time to uh, to manipulate the part. But obviously because I'm an experienced modeler, I, I don't need to do that. And I kind of find that I like the instant grab person myself. But yeah, if you're new to the hobby and this, or you're gonna fit this for the first time, you're really reluctant. Get yourself a nice lock tight six second glue. Okay, so that first section's stuck and that's uh, all nicely lined up. So I'm just going to turn it around and just kind of make sure it's all going to line up on the back edge again, which it is. Just pull it tight and then they'll just nicely nip up together. So what I'm going to do, same again, I'm going to start to add glue to one side. Like you say, you get through quite a bit of glue when you're doing these funnel wraps. And 
bit smaller this time so what I'm actually going to do I'm going to glue it all the way to the half A little bit more glue under if it's any edges that kind of go back to the most important part of the edge that you want stuck down. That one's okay. And all we're going to do then is just fold this one over and marry these two up. Same again, just using the remainder of the glue. To need a little bit more. So, what I do now is take the rest of the glue, like I say, this glue's getting towards the end of its uh, end of its life. So, like I say, it's kind of way I just spin it around. So you don't get like a glue kind of tail follow you and cover the uh, bit of the foliage like you did a second ago. That's like I say too much of a problem because all I'll do is buff any kind of over glue spill away with the uh, fiber, fiberglass pencil. Okay, so all I do then is the same again. Press it in, push it nice and pinch it tight. That will nicely close up any gaps we've got. Paper towel, swipe off and stab any kind of glue left over. And just take that cleaning alcohol again. A little bit. Onto the paper towel and then just clean that off. And then all we need to do, same again like before, is just clean up this joint and then we just rub it over any of the parts. It'll really make sure we're all nicely pressed down. Okay, that's one completed funnel of Titanic and there's three more to go. Like I say in the kit, you get some little rigging brackets to get glued in into this top section. But I'm experienced enough to know that because I won't be fitting this for quite some while, little parts like that tend to get knocked off while they're in storage. So I'm going to leave them off until I'm about to paint this. But they're included with the kit with all the rigging arms as well. Okay, so I kind of hope you uh, found that video quite useful. Like I say, if you're new to the channel, I'm not a professional model maker. I just kind of just, same as everybody else, just kind of have a go. And it always seems to tear, work out okay. Okay, so I have all the uh, photo which range from Woody's Model Works. And over the course of this uh, 2022, I'll be fitting all them uh, all them photo which upgrade kits. Well, I've also got the nice, well, I've got that next week, the really nice uh, interior I think it's the, uh, the luxury dining dining room set that is made as well. And I'll be getting hold of that, so I'll show you that as well. Okay, so if you want this funnel wrap and the rigging bracket set, this is £49.99 from Woolies Model Works. Like I said, if you order this and you order some other parts as well, I'm sure Neil will uh, do your discount for multiple uh, multiple sets that you purchase. And also, if you mention that you've, uh, you're a big fan of John Bill's Iconic Miniature Models channel as well, you may do you a little discount. I don't know, I can't guarantee that. 
but yeah, it might uh, he might be able to give you a little discount if you say you watched him on John Bills. I can't mention all Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. You kind of find it useful. Like I say, sometimes these step by step guides are uh, only watched by people that are really interested in actually uh, fitting the funnel routes. But I hope you kind of find the video useful in any case. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all again next time. Take care, everyone. Like I say, so I have all the uh, the photo edge enhancement ring from Woody's Waddle Mood.